Hey writer friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Holly. I'm a writer aspiring to be a published author. And in today's video, I will be sharing with you my editing struggles plus tips to overcome. So this is actually a collab with Christina Bach. I did a collab with her quite a few months ago and it was a lot of fun. So I will link that video down below and I will also link her editing struggles video down below because we both are deep in the editing woes right now. I guess people talk about the query trenches, but holy crap, I am deep in the editing trenches right now. So like part of me feels like this is like a real talk video because I'm just like, man, stuff is getting real here. Like I gotta talk to you guys cause I am struggling. I am like deep on the struggle bus. But we thought it would be good to share with you guys the different struggles that people can have when they're editing because it may be different for every person. And also it can be different for every manuscript too, which is what I'm going through right now. So just to give you guys a little bit of a background, I have edited two manuscripts before this. Ran a Cory Realm, my first novel went through four drafts. The fifth one was like very minor changes. So technically there were five drafts to that. And I have feedback that I need to incorporate for a Bargo's Riddle second draft. So this is technically the third manuscript where I am editing the second draft. And boy, I don't know if it's because I've just like been reading so much writing craft books and editing novels and working on my craft where I just have felt so overwhelmed with all of the work that I have to do for the Celestial Code. Now it's not that like the Celestial Code is like so horrible that I need to like fix all these things because it's a mess. Like it's actually like pretty good, but just the changes that I want to make, I know are going to make my novel even better. And there were so many things that my betas had told me that like I didn't even think about or questions that they had that like I didn't even know the answer to. So part of my struggle was just finding out the answers to those questions and how I can weave that back into my manuscript to make sense. Part of that problem included me having so many beta readers because for Rana Cory Realm, I wouldn't have more than a couple beta readers for each draft, like one to three max. And same for A Bar Goes Riddle. I only had two people for the second draft. But for the Celestial Code, I had seven people, which I was so grateful for. I loved it. It was awesome. I got amazing feedback from all of them, but I had enlisted the help of all these beta readers because I had had such a hard time getting beta readers in the first place for my other novels or for those beta readers to follow me through to the end. So sometimes maybe I would have three people and by the end I would have feedback from like, one and a half people so because maybe someone only got through half so for me to have like all of the feedback for back from seven people was just incredible but i feel like i was just so overwhelmed and felt daunted by all of the feedback that they gave me but so what I did at the beginning of Camp NaNoWriMo is I went through everyone's feedback. Most people gave me like paragraph summaries in their emails or at the end of the novel. And so I kind of took all that and then I skimmed through everyone's feedback through the actual Word documents to find any important points that they made. And then from there, I put those all into a Word document and I kind of took away ones like, oh, this person mentioned that. Yes, I'm going to address it. I can delete that. And then once I was done going through all of that and trying to reason through answers and things and whether I wanted to include those changes that they suggested into my manuscript, then I printed that Word document out. And so I actually wrote on the document kind of writing out the solutions to the problems that I, they found. So that kind of helped me a little bit at least like organizing everyone's feedback so I didn't feel overwhelmed by having all of, you know, all of these uh, pieces of advice and I didn't know what to do about it. But my problem right now, which is just, I don't know why, like I can say that I have not completely edited one page of the Celestial Code because I wanted to rewrite and not just rewrite, like revise the first three chapters and combine them into one because I had some really great feedback that I could condense those first three chapters and use the inciting incident and some of these other plot points that I had and just like combine it into one more condensed scene, which actually made a lot of sense. I only had like two people who had mentioned it, but I actually really agreed with their feedback and wanted to incorporate it. And so since that was at the beginning, I'm like, okay, I'll start at the beginning. But 
every time I would like sit down, I would just feel so overwhelmed and I just didn't know why. Like, and you know, I kind of have this mixed anxiety and depressive disorder, so I didn't know if that was kind of coming through because I haven't really been having too many issues with that. But I feel like maybe there was this anxiety, like, and I, I didn't really want to call it anxiety. I wanted to call it more of just this overwhelm, this feeling of overwhelm where I just knew everything I had to do. And even though I'm like, okay, I'm only going to focus on these first three chapters, rework this. Like I just couldn't because I kept thinking about everything else I had to do. A good way of putting it was that I have just been paralyzed with fear to work on this manuscript. And one of the ways that I am trying to overcome this is to try to take more of those bite-sized chunks out of that manuscript and really just be like, okay, this is what I'm doing. And if I don't feel like doing this part, okay, let me edit something else. Like, don't just say, okay, I don't want to edit this part. Let me just, you know, I might as well say to hell with it and just not edit anymore. Like, no, don't do that. Like go work on something else. That's a little bit easier for you to do. And that has helped me a lot, but I still feel you know, kind of the sense of overwhelm and dread, like, okay, well, I'm working on this part, but I still have to go back to that and fix it eventually. So a couple things that are helping me right now is to get some accountability help, trying to get some advice from friends and family and just get supportive people, trying to Skype with my sister so that we are both working on our manuscripts at the same time so that I don't feel like I am isolated and just doing this all by myself because it's been really hard for me to just push through this paralyzing, overwhelming fear to work on my manuscript. So besides getting accountability from other people, I'm also trying to hold myself accountable too. So I had kind of fallen off of using my planner, but I busted that, that back out and I am trying to write in that every week and breaking up chunks of things I need to do every day. So before I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna edit this week. And it's like, okay, no, I have a checkbox to edit every day and now I am going to try to say okay let's edit three chapters you know this day or even three chapters this week whatever I need to do to get this done you know these baby steps are going to keep building up and I will reach that destination of completing this draft eventually but I need to keep working to get there I think another thing too is that I so want to just work on line by lines for the celestial code i want to read the manuscript out loud because that's one of my favorite parts of the editing process but i can't do that yet because i have to like revise and fix things and it's just really hard because i feel like i just want to like you know jump ahead and i have to kind of slow it down and you know take things one day at a time and so the last thing that I found that has been helpful for me through my editing struggles is to give myself some grace because I feel like I have been pretty exhausted. I've had a lot of family gatherings and have been pretty busy at work. So I feel like that's been exhausting me, not just physically, but emotionally as well. And so then, you know, if my body and my brain feels tired, then I just can't commit myself to my manuscript. And I know people say to like push through, but I feel like I was trying to push through past my limits, past where it wasn't healthy for me. So there was one day and I haven't taken a nap at work in a long time, but I tried to edit. I think I edited for like five or 10 minutes at lunchtime. And then I was like, I'm so tired. I'm just going to lay down. And I ended up sleeping for an hour and I woke up and was like so disoriented. And I'm like, oh, I'm at work. Like what? It's it's two o'clock. Like it was crazy. So and I had gotten seven and a half hours sleep that night. So I was like, why am I tired? And I think I probably even had coffee like you know mid morning too so i was like what is going on but this morning it's a saturday i got nine hours sleep because i was like you know what my body's telling me it's exhausted and i'm gonna listen to it and just let it sleep as long as it wants to and then today i can wake up refreshed renewed and you know be able to devote that energy to editing so you guys i know like <laughs> I have deadlines for myself. I made my quarterly goals. I want to have the third draft of the Celestial Code completed by the end of September because I want to start really focusing on outlining for my NaNoWriMo novel in October. So yeah, so I have deadlines for myself and I don't want to take this long time because like I want to get this novel out there. I want to start working on the fourth draft and then working on my query letter and 
querying to literary, literary agents so that I could get this novel out there into the world and so that I can hopefully accomplish my dream of becoming a traditionally published author and becoming successful where I can do this part time and hopefully full time. So it's like, that's what I'm trying to remind myself too. like, these are the goals that I have and it's never going to happen if I can't just like sit down and edit. So sometimes you just need to give yourself like a kick in the butt and just be like, just do it. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I know that it's not, you know, easy, this writer's life slash editor's life, <laughs> but you know, having the support of people and having that internal motivation really goes a long way. So, you know, guys, if you have any tips for me, leave it down in the comments down below, because, you know, like I said, I am still on the struggle bus and trying to break through this kind of rut that I'm in with editing. And don't forget to check out Christina Bach's video. I will link it down below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you found any of these tips helpful for you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Until next time, bye.